Hey everybody, welcome to Greenlight Car Reviews. My name is Giancarlo and today we're filming the Ferrari 488 GTB. Now, I have to start off by saying that this is obviously a Ferrari and you could compare it to other cars like Lamborghini or McLaren um, and you could see some differences uh, in speed, performance or even in the luxury of the interior. But there's no car that's going to make you feel the way a Ferrari makes you feel. And this is actually the replacement for the 458 Italia. So you get a few more modern specs to it. Just the key to start with, you see this brand new Ferrari key with a bit, a bit more buttons on it. You can see that it's a bit more modern than the old key. And I like those touches that they added. Now you can see all around the car, there's a bunch of vents, uh, whether it's in the front, the sides, or on the back. And these vents actually cool the engine, uh, but also they perform to give more G-force to the vehicle as you're driving it. And they're all functional vents. If you, the air is gonna go in by there, come out by here, uh, even in the bottom. And you can see that it's very, very powerful car. You also get this beautiful glass over here that allows you to see the engine, whether it's day or night, you can always admire it because it is a beautiful piece of art. And that's what I think a Ferrari is. It's, it's art on four wheels. Um, and it makes you feel special every time you just look at it or everyone in the streets just looking at it. They, you know, they get a good time, they enjoy it. Now, if you look at the back of the vehicle, you have these massive, massive exhaust pipes. And I actually want to test them out. And we're going to do the celery test. This is brand new celery, very delicious. And we're going to just check out. I want to show you guys. This goes all the way down. These are real exhaust pipe. The celery goes all the way down. This is not fake. This is not tips. This is straight exhaust. And these are massive and they sound beautiful. Um, you know, this car actually has two turbos and Ferrari had to do that to meet the regulations that they had to meet in Europe. But the problem with turbos is turbos act kind of like a muffler to the engine. Um, it kind of kills the sound and it doesn't make it sound as good as the 458, which a lot of people complained about when this car came out on the market. So Ferrari spent four years developing the perfect sound for this exhaust. So it would sound good even though it had, had those turbos. And I believe it sounds amazing. We're going to start it up for you and give it some revs and you guys are going to see that it, it doesn't sound like a turbo car. It actually sounds like a real V8. And I really like that. Now you obviously get this beautiful badge over over here the horse uh, you get this Ferrari written over here and you get some beautiful lines around the car um, this these tires now if you guys we filmed the Mercedes a few weeks ago okay and the Ferrari the Mercedes that we filmed had Michelin pilot sport cups but this is even more impressive here you have pilot super sport so it's not just sport it's super sport you, you know when it says pilot super sport that it's a serious tire and it's going to keep you on the road for as long as you need it to now this is a real wheel drive car which means that you have to warm up the tires and everything because there is a lot of power going to real wheels uh, compared to a Lamborghini which would be four wheel drive but again compared to let's say an Aventador this has a dual clutch transmission so it kind of gave in to the rear wheel drive, it didn't want four wheel drive because it would be too heavy, but instead it had the dual clutch transmission. Lamborghini did the opposite. So Lamborghini has four wheel drive, but they do not want to put the uh, dual clutch transmission on the Aventador because it would be too heavy and it would take up too much space in the car. So you, that's what you have to choose if you're debating between these two cars. But you do get, get these beautiful 20 inch mags over here that are like this matte gray color and these beautiful yellow painted brake calipers in the front and in the back. And they're actually huge. I find they're almost as big in the back as they are in the front, which is pretty rare because usually you get really small brake calipers in the back, but it looks good. Um, then coming in the front of the car, you can see that it kind of resembles a 458. There's not a big difference between this one and the 458. The only major difference is I find this one is a bit more rounded out than the 458. And, but you, you could see that there's big similarities in the lights. Uh, you can see the similarity in the bonnet, um, but the front, this front part, this uh, front bumper is completely different than the 458. You have these massive air vents over here. Um, you have this space over here to give G-force to the vehicle. This is going to move around while there's air on it to, you know, kind of mold to the air and give you more G-force, downforce. Um, but I think it's a really beautiful car and there's nothing like that Ferrari logo in the front of your car. It just looks amazing. There's a lot of story behind it and it makes you feel good while you're driving it or if you're just looking at it. All right, so now we have to test the Italian stupidity behind this car. So 
We opened the trunk in the front, which is the most useless part of this vehicle. So we have a bag over here, we're gonna test it out. So we have to press this little button over here, open it up. You could probably fit one bag, maybe two. Um, I wouldn't try to fit anything else. If you're going on vacation, leave your stuff behind, buy it when you get there because it's the smartest thing to do. Because you put anything in this car, it's not worth it. It's just not gonna fit. The thing with this, you have to drive it, that's it. Enjoy it, never put anything in it. Don't complain and that's it. Guys, come closer. This is an Italian car, okay? So I'm gonna say it in Italian for you. This is una quattro tandot Gran Turismo Berlinetta. That's what it means, GTV. And that badge right here, this is the story behind this car. So this is a beautiful engine producing 711 horsepower and 569 pound-feet of torque. It's a 3.9 liter V8 twin turbo engine. It is incredibly powerful. It is a beautiful, beautiful handmade engine. It is done at the factory in Maranello in Italy, handmade, and it's a beautiful piece of art. I love this material that they put with the Ferrari logo. Um, it's like a painted metal and it's beautiful. It's beautifully made and I love that they expose it, like I said, like a piece of art with the badge over here, 488 GTB. It's just, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Mwah. The Italians, they, they are the best at making engines. I have to say, I'm sorry, Germany, but there's nothing like an Italian engine. I'm sorry. And coming back to that boot, you have to understand that this is an Italian car. And Italians, they don't think about practicality. They think about emotions, the emotion of driving the car, which is why that is probably the last thing they worried about while making this vehicle. But one thing they did worry about is the interior. And we're about to go check that out right now. So Ferrari is obviously also an F1 team and they wanted to give you that F1 vibe when you get in the car. You obviously get some luxury. So you get leather all around the vehicle, but the main part of the car is the steering wheel and that's what they want you to focus on. So you get all these buttons over here. Compared to other vehicles, your flashers are gonna be on the steering wheel. Your horn is gonna be on the steering wheel on both sides. Um, your your, your, your uh, suspension, you're gonna control it over here. Your engine starts stop all your modes that you want to put the car in, whether you want to put it in wet, sport, race, or if you want to take your traction control off or your stability control off, you're going to hold it over here and it's going to come off. Your uh, windscreen wipers, your windshield wipers, everything is going to be here. So they really want you to focus on the drive. And what's really cool about this car is these lights over here. So every time you're going to want to go shift it, if you're in manual and you're accelerating, it's gonna tell you exactly when to shift perfectly, um, depending on which gear you're in. It, the lights are gonna light up, and when it's all red, you shift, and it just feels pretty cool. So they really wanted to give you that F1 vibe. The only thing I don't like, there's actually a few things I don't like about this car. Um, first of all, you don't get a lot of infotainment, and you don't get a lot of technology. All you get is these three, these two screens over here, and the analog in the middle. So the you don't even get a digital dash for the speed, uh, for the rev counter, you get everything analog. And these screens on the sides are not that easy to use because the left screen, you have to control it with these buttons over here. And then the right screen is gonna be with the buttons on the other side. You can go and check the menus on the left side with these buttons over here, go back into your menu, and you can choose whether you wanna check the status of the vehicle, the mode you're in with all the information of the dynamics if you want to do lap times if you want to check the turbo response you can check that over here or if you just want to do cruise control you can control your cruise control over here and you can have your trip information over there but i find it's a bit complicated to use considering you have these buttons for this screen and then these buttons for that screen which is going to be your display whether you want to put your navigation you can go into main and then put it into the navigation over here or you can have the map if you want but all of this is kind of complicated. I prefer what they did with the new Portofino. Um, the new Portofino has a little dash, a screen in the middle. It's the newer model. I understand maybe they're, you know, they're going to eventually understand they're going to put more technologies in the car. But I prefer the display of the Portofino. It's more modern and easier to use. I also don't like the amount of plastic that they've put into this vehicle. You're paying a lot of money for this car, but you get plastic over here, plastic over here. All of these buttons are kind of cheap. Uh, it feels very plasticky over here. All of this, this is actually good quality. This is metal, but all these buttons are plastic. This button is plastic. This is plastic. Um, and the sound system itself is not the best. I understand that when you're driving this car, you're rarely gonna have the sound system on because you're gonna wanna listen to that engine. But still, I find that for the car that they, they, they've made, for the price that you're paying for this vehicle, I actually prefer the interior of either a McLaren or a Lamborghini. I feel it makes you feel a bit more special. Um, 
you get a bit more technology, especially with the Hurricane Evo, um, than this vehicle. But I do get the F1 vibe that they were trying to give us with this console over here also. Whether you want to put it in the reverse or whether you want to do a launch control, you could press this button. Or if you want to check the transmission automatic, it's very simple. Um, not a lot of buttons, but I prefer other vehicles when it comes to the interior. Also, one little thing I have to say, um, you do not get cup holders and you do not get a mirror over here you do get one of the passenger side if let's say your wife wants to look at herself in the mirror but there's no mirror over here and there's no cup holders which i guess italians do not think you um drink water i don't know i don't know what they thought about that but then again it's a driving car it's not a it's not a chilling car with water and coffee or whatever but now we get to the fun part i want to start this vehicle and I want to see if we can uh, maybe cook some sausages with the exhaust. So let's do that test. Um, now we're going to do the sausage test. Before we do the sausage test, I'm going to start it up from the inside so you guys can see the rev counter and how cool it looks. So you're going to press this engine start stop over here. And let's look at this. So you do get that nice sound, like I was telling you guys before. Even though you do get turbos, it still sounds pretty good. And you can rev it and it's pretty loud. And you can see these lines on the top that will tell you when to shift. Let's say I was driving it, I go up, it's gonna tell me exactly when to shift. And you get these beautiful paddles over here that are all metal um, and they feel really good when you touch them. It feels nice. So I like that. Um, it's a beautiful interior. It's just, I find it's just not as much um, into technology as other vehicles, but then again, it is a Ferrari. Um, if you're looking at Lamborghini, we all know that um, they have some German engineering behind them. So. Considering it's all an Italian car, I understand why they are not that much into technology as other vehicles. All right, so this is the sausage test. Let's see if it cooks. Jesus Christ. Rev it! One more! As we can see over here, you do get a bit of black. So I, I guess it is cooking, the color changed a bit. So that for us is a great success. All right guys, so to finish off this quick video, I wanna say that this is a beautiful car. Um, it, we weren't so sure about what it was gonna be like after the 458 because that was an amazing vehicle. But I am very, very happy with what they've come out with. I'm also very excited to drive the F8 Tributo that just came out and we'll be doing that in a few weeks. We'll actually get a chance to drive this car um, in a bit this one's not plated so we can't drive it right now but we're gonna get there and we'll show you guys how it drives but all in all this is a great vehicle um, and i do suggest you get it if you like that real wheel drive traction um, instead of a four-wheel drive if you do like four-wheel drive though go for a lamborghini but all in all thank you so much if you like this video please subscribe like and comment um, and make sure to ring that bell icon um, next to the subscribe button so you're gonna get notified every time we drop a new video and we'll have a lot of videos coming up for you soon so please stay tuned thank you so much guys see you soon